does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Gentlemen, it is uh, my uh, pleasure now to be able to introduce the co-founder of the Greater Waltham Tea Party. He's going to be my co-MC for the afternoon. He's one of the principal architects of the Waltham Tea Party and one of the people who is responsible for getting many of the candidates here that you're going to be hearing from a little bit later on today. Oh, and as a matter of fact, I have a feeling that in a past life, I understand he was a cheerleader. And you're going to be... Uh, Finding that out is that's going to become more evident to you as uh, the afternoon progresses. Ladies and gentlemen, the co MC for this afternoon and one of the founders of the Waltham Tea Party, Mr. Jay Dwyer, right here. Thank you, Jack. Is this okay? Can you hear all right? No. Dwyer? How's that? How's that? Okay. All right. I usually just sing in the in the shower, so I'm not used to talking to a big group of people. <laughs> okay. We're very fortunate today. I appreciate you all coming out here, and uh, it's really are inspiring that you have so many people who just had it with government. And this morning, we're very fortunate, this afternoon, we're very fortunate to have a person who was the Tea Party before the Tea Party ever was. This is a person who saved you all a lot of money because of Proposition 2 and a half. 1982 was when Proposition 2 and a half was instituted. It was passed in 1980. Ed King was the father of the Tea Party. He is our George Washington. So I'd like you to welcome Ed King. Thank you very much, Jay. Uh, when I was asked to speak here this afternoon, they told me where it was going to be. I was very familiar with the area, and so I had no problem. I came and I drove up, I parked my car, and I started walking over here, and I had this awful feeling that I was in the wrong place. You see, I read the major media, and I expected you all to be wearing white sheets. <laughs> I didn't see any burning crosses. And I've read how racist this organization was. So then I said, well, maybe they've toned it down. And then I looked to see if there were any men in white coats, because the president of the Massachusetts Senate referred to all of you as a bunch of nutcases. Well, I got news for all of them. They're going to find out who the nutcases are a week from Tuesday. Here that they reduce spending, which will allow them to reduce taxes. We reduce taxes when you have lower taxes. Taxes, businesses come and stay. When you have higher taxes, businesses go away. Anybody ever buy anything in New Hampshire? Yeah. Uh, me too. We're in competition with New Hampshire, and our country is comp in competition with the rest of the world. The person that understands that dramatically, very clearly, is Sandy Martinez. She was a co-founder of the Lowell Tea Party. She did it early. We're following on. We're strong because she led. She's for smaller government. She's for reducing these insane spending, the stupid things that they all do. You hear about them once in a while. The anti-tunies out there that are ripping us off. Uh, but Sandy is really going to bring it, and if she doesn't, we're going to work hard to vote her out, but I'm quite sure she will. Sandy Martinez, she's running against uh, an entrenched candidate here, an entrenched incumbent, Susan Fargo, and as Howie Carr said, she's far go, far going, far gone. Sandy's going to bring it.
I'm a little shorter than Jay. I'm Sandy Martinez, and I'm showing my ID when I vote November 2nd. Is everybody here going to do that? Good afternoon. It's good to see so many citizen patriots come out here on a cold afternoon to listen to a bunch of politicians talk. For those who have, I've not yet met, I am Sandy Martinez and I'm running for the Massachusetts State Senate in the 3rd Middlesex District, which includes Waltham, Lexington, Bedford, Carlisle, Concord, Lincoln, Chelmsford, and Sudbury. Did I miss any? Weston. I'm thrilled by Ed King's being here today. He endorsed me previously, and he's become a really good friend and a strong, strong ally and advocate. I'm also looking forward to Howie Carr coming today, as it's nice to share a stage with him. He's uh, done a couple of events for us here in Waltham, and he's always great to listen to, and I hope you'll enjoy him when he gets here. Thank you, Ed and Howie, and thank you for all my hardworking friends here in Waltham for making today happen. The Waltham team that has been putting this tea party together has worked tirelessly for weeks and for months, and you all deserve yourselves a great big hand. <laughs> Jay, Sandy, Diane, and everyone else out there knows who you are. And thank you to all of you, every single one of you who took the time to come out today and to listen to us. This is the second gathering of citizen patriots here in the home of the Industrial Revolution. And you ought to be proud of yourselves because these, these, this showing is one of the biggest in the area. And I'm uh, thrilled and excited to be a part of it. In April, I kicked off my campaign this time around with a tour of the district. We started in Chelmsford at 6 in the morning with a little speech on the Chelmsford Common. We loaded up our bus and we went on to Concord where we were joined by more citizen patriots, where we gave another rousing speech and then we ended up in Lexington. Where more people joined us, we gave another speech and we went on to see Sarah Palin with the Tea Party Express. It was a lot of fun and we've been very, very busy since then. We decided here that they reduce spending, which will allow them to reduce taxes. We reduce taxes when you have lower taxes, taxes, businesses come and stay. When you have higher taxes, businesses go away. Anybody ever buy anything in New Hampshire? Yeah. Uh, me too. We're in competition with New Hampshire and our country is com in competition with the rest of the world. The person that understands that dramatically, very clearly, is Sandy Martinez. She was a co-founder of the Lowell Tea Party. She did it early. We're following on. We're strong because she led. She's for smaller government. She's for reducing these insane spending, the stupid things that they all do. You hear about them once in a while. The anti-tunies out there that are ripping us off. Uh, but Sandy is really going to bring it. And if she doesn't, we're going to work hard to vote her out. But I'm quite sure she will. Sandy Martinez, she's running against uh, an entrenched candidate here, an entrenched incumbent, Susan Fargo. And as Howie Carr said, she's far go, far going, far gone. Yeah, I'm going to bring it. I'm a little shorter than Jay. I'm Sandy Martinez, and I'm showing my ID when I vote November 2nd. Is everybody here going to do that? Afternoon. It's good to see so many citizen patriots come out here on a cold afternoon to listen to a bunch of politicians talk. For those who have, I've not yet met, I am Sandy Martinez and I'm running for the Massachusetts State Senate in the 3rd Middlesex District, which includes Waltham, Lexington, Bedford, Carlisle, Concord, Lincoln, Chelmsford, and Sudbury. Did I miss any? Weston. I'm thrilled by Ed King's being here today. He endorsed me previously, and he's become a really good friend and a strong, strong ally and advocate. I'm also looking forward to Howie Carr coming today, as it's nice to share a stage with him. He's uh, done a couple of events for us here in Waltham, and he's always great to listen to, and I hope you'll enjoy him when he gets here. 
Thank you, Ed and Howie, and thank you for all my hardworking friends here in Waltham for making today happen. The Waltham team that has been putting this tea party together has worked tirelessly for weeks and for months, and you all deserve yourselves a great big hand. <laughs> Jay, Sandy, Diane, and everyone else out there knows who you are. And thank you to all of you, every single one of you who took the time to come out today and to listen to us. This is the second gathering of citizen patriots here in the home of the Industrial Revolution. And you ought to be proud of yourselves because these, these, this showing is one of the biggest in the area. And I'm uh, thrilled and excited to be a part of it. In April, I kicked off my campaign this time around with a tour of the district. We started in Chelmsford at 6 in the morning with a little speech on the Chelmsford Common. We loaded up our bus and we went on to Concord where we were joined by more citizen patriots, where we gave another rousing speech and then we ended up in Lexington. Where more people joined us, we gave another speech and we went on to see Sarah Palin with the Tea Party Express. It was a lot of fun and we've been very, very busy since then. We decided